Hey guys, today we're going to see another 3D lettering design, but I'm going to break down the entire process. First off, we're going to create a quick design in Procreate. Next, I'm going to create the path in Illustrator, which I will use in Cinema 4D. And finally, we're going to finish the design in Photoshop and add the final touches. So let's dive into it. As mentioned, the first step is to create a lettering in Procreate. The first two words will have different styles, which we will see later in Photoshop. But still, the first draft will be designed now in Procreate. In case you are interested in the brushes I'm using here, it is the solid brush for the top words and the monostone brush for the word magic. I will leave links in the description for the brush packs where you can find them. Next, we need to export the design and add it in a document in Adobe Illustrator. So once I have added it, I will take the pen tool and create a path following the shapes of the letter. One thing to be careful here is to not have very sharp corners. Uh, we need them to be smooth, that's why I'm making these curves in the bottom parts of the letter M. The sharp corners will make the process more difficult later in Cinema 4D, so avoid that. By the way, many of you have sent me questions about what applications I use and how I use them on the iPad. Uh, so I'm using the iPad Pro, the second generation, which is a quite old one, I think it's for, from 2017, and I have connected it to my MacBook as a second screen. And this way I can use it as a pen tablet which has, you know, the pressure sensitivity and everything as a usual drawing tablet. So this isn't an iPad application, they are the desktop versions of the softwares I use, except the Procreate of course. So once we have finished the path, it will be better to make the shape and the curves a bit smoother, like what I'm doing here. After that we can import the path into Cinema 4D. I have some tutorials on my channel showing exactly the process of exporting from Illustrator and importing into Cinema, so if you need more details for that, feel free to check them. So after importing the path, or spline in Cinema 4D, I convert it into 3D shapes. Again, all of this process can be found on my tutorials. Then we need to make some adjustments to the spline in order to make the 3D object more realistic and improve it in general. So what I'm doing now is moving the anchor points on the space to avoid the line to intersect with each other. Uh, then it's time to apply the materials. I will not go through the process of creating materials as you can see also on my other tutorial videos. However, if you're interested on the materials you are seeing here, these are on a selection I released recently uh, with 63 materials. It is called the Solid Pack and you can find them on the links I will leave on the description. Uh, these are for the standard render of Cinema 4D, so you can't use it with any other render or any other application, of course. Uh, the, the material I'm using right now is called Red Rough. Next step is to add lights and adjust the shadow settings. This way you will have a much better view of the material. Here you can see also some other materials of the collection. Next up, we continue with Photoshop. I render a couple of versions with different lighting settings in order to keep the good parts of each and hide the bad parts with masks. Now I'm going to add the first two words I created earlier in Procreate. I will change the color to white and create some masks to hide some parts. Like they are between, like, like they are behind the word magic. Then I will add shadows. First, the shadows will be from the two words on top as they drop down to the word below. Uh, in addition, I will draw some shadows with a smooth brush in some specific parts using custom selections. This is something that I can. This is something that I will use for the shadows on the top words as well. In order to make these custom selections, I am using the pen tool, which is very helpful for this process.
And next I will create some details like these lines below the design, again using the pen tool for paths. And I will add masks and shadows on it too. I will add even more shadows and then some shines to give them, you know, this little magic in order to match with a quote. So after that I'm going to add slight reflections to the floor as well as some adjustment layers. The adjustment layers can be related to contrast, it can be brightness, hue or even some color filters which you can find in Photoshop, you know the, the color lookup adjustment layer, it is very uh, useful. So that was briefly a breakdown of the process to create this style of 3D lettering. For the materials and brushes you can find links below in the description. Take care and see you on the next one.